You know, the wisdom basically is that, uh, you know, in, in this world, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made the world for test, testing purpose. The world never can be as, at your convenience. It never can happen. He did not mean that anyway. So to find convenience in the life is really looking for something which is impossible. This world basically is meant to be testing. Everybody will test it. Messengers, prophets, believers, unbelievers, test always will keep coming. That's how he wants really. So one of the part of test also is that you know, people will criticize you. That all the time keep happening. That you, know, you teach something. If you don't do anything, maybe people don't criticize you. But if you do something good, it always will happen. People will criticize you for something good reason, something wrong reason, all will happen. Now you have your test. So like for now people have been criticizing me a lot. Now it kind of open. But actually I know people have been criticizing me since I started teaching for 15, 20 years. People used to say me, but now it become more openly. So it will all the time keep happening. In this matter, my way in this matter, I, I, we are learning from the Quran and also from the, where the Sahaba and Tabin is. The way in this matter, if somebody criticizes, look really, if he's right, then we should correct it because you know, I have not uh, all the wisdom. That's good, this person criticized me and he corrected me, helped me. And if he has question, uh, you know, and he wants to understand, we should actually make help. But sometimes criticism could be for the sake of criticism. So once you understand that, the, then my way is to ignore that. Leave on and move on because, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, if you don't waste our time for these matters, you know, do something more important in, in the life. That how all the time ha happening. And also, there's so much reward when you're patient. You know, when somebody criticizes me, it makes me so happy, I say, actually, you know, what is better than that I get reward for something I never did? You know, there's so much rewards in this matter, you know, uh, their prayers, their fasting, all the rewards keep coming to me. You know, I never did. I, I, it reminds me of Abdurrahman Mahdi, he said, uh, you know, I love that all the people of Basra, they, they backbite me because what is better than, you know, you getting reward after something which you never did. But, you know, I don't like Allah to be disobeyed, so I cannot wish for, for backbiting. This is the thing really is, you know, people will keep doing all those things because and also the way I'm teaching is, it uh, basically goes against many, many conventional teachings anyway. So my teaching will go against Ashari, Maturidi, Hanafi, Maliki, Shafi, Hanbali, you know, because I just want to teach. People understand my teaching not to support the Madhavi school. This, Alhamdulillah, I never got in my mind. You know, my, you know, if, and I, Alhamdulillah, made my, very clear to my mind okay, uh, if somebody criticizes the land, his messenger, or criticizes Islam, then I will have to think how to defend. But Alhamdulillah, I got in my mind if somebody criticizes me or my school, like Nadatul Ulama, or Shibri Nomani, or Mawla Farahi, or my teacher Mawla Shahbaz, for example, or somebody criticizes my, my village or my, my city, I have no interest really to defend myself. I never feel really any, anything to defend myself. What is one reason? Because you know, if they're right, that's fine. If they're not right, I get reward anyway. So there's nothing like that. So the same thing I advise all of you really, that you know, learn properly and do ibadah, make a study, do research. And, sim and if you teach, if you explain my teaching, and some people benefit, you make intention those people. That's those who don't benefit, they, are, they want criticize, don't make intention of them. Just think really my purpose, those people want to benefit. That you can't, you can't convince whole world. Because Allah has made the mind so differently. It is impossible that everybody can be, you know, convinced with, with, with something. So that attitude is much better. Don't answer people, don't refute people, just make it, take it easier. And it's also good for the unity of the believers, because I always emphasize that believers are one people, unity of the believers. Uh, you can differ at the end of the day. But when you keep answering, tension grows, enmity comes, hatred comes, and I really don't like uh, my name to become, you know, where somebody hates each other. If people hate me, then I don't, don't have a problem. But I don't want to part, be part of the tension. You know, I don't want to increase the tension. You know, the thing really, take it easy. You know, Mawla Min Hassan Islai said, I said to Mawla Farahi, <coughs> that such a big alim has declared you as a kafir. The Mawla Farahi said, does he know me? And then he kept doing his business. He's not interested whether somebody calls a kafir or not. This actually thing really is why it's important for me anyway, whether people criticize me or don't criticize me. Life is so short, soon we go. And also I don't need to have any proof. I don't want to prove that I'm right. Because this, Alhamdulillah, I never had in my mind that I have to prove that I'm right. Because I think for that is the day of judgment. It, in this world, you never can prove, convince people that you are right. It is unnecessary effort anyway. Why should I make effort that I'm right? I, my effort only should be to explain what I'm saying. That's all, if you don't understand. But whether I am right or wrong, Allah knows the best. Sometimes I can know from argument. 
So if this will be good for you as well. You save your time. In future, it will also happen to you. It's what happened now with me, soon it will happen to you as well. It always happens to everybody. So somebody will criticize you to learn this thing. Don't worry about that. It will happen. You are tested for the sabr and patience. And I really, I find the sabr is more rewardable than anything else. Yeah, Allah is with you. And especially, you see, last week, people have been criticizing me. But last week, I, Allah Subhanahu helped me to do more work. So much work all the time, busy doing work. When nothing, you know, and I, I, my health was much stronger. I did this much better. And actually, when some people are criticizing me, at the same time, there are people phoning me from everywhere else in India and Sri Lanka, hear them, that I love you and we love you and we, we support you, we, we teach your teaching and this. So I said, this always happened like that. You know, like Mawlana Gangohi, Rahimullah Ta'ala, when people used to write letter to him, some Bareilly people, they used to curse him. So his students will become angry. So he said, no, don't be angry. Because there are people also write, write to me, they say, you are Qutul Aqtab and Ghawth and this and that. Neither I'm that, neither this. So, you know, I should not be offended. You know, people praise me, which is not right. People also criticize me, maybe it's not right. You know, I, I think why should be worried anyway? In this world, when Allah is criticized, and his message, I feel not only that even wives of the prophets are criticized, you know, what can, you know, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees all that, because the day of judgment there, if people cannot criticize Aisha, <coughs> Allah ta'ala, so who am I? Nothing really. People can criticize my passengers, the prophets, and I'll tell you one thing really. When you make this attitude, barakah comes. Then you really, you have no idea really how much Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases you. I've seen all the time in my, people who do sabr, they are the winner. So don't make effort to win in, a, you know, in these groups. Actually, I think the winner in that group, those groups is more loser than the losers. So I don't want to win a battle. Actually, I think it is better for me to lose. I don't think losing a battle is a bad thing. Then you can set on your thing. So I don't want to win anything or to become victorious or something like that. This has never come to my mind. My thinking really is to do right thing. Life is short. And then pass on, and on the day of judgment, everybody will come. So, you know, the, uh, first thing, I never make effort to answer myself. And second thing, for your interest, save your time. Actually, this is much better answer to them. Because they don't want this teaching to be known. That was the best thing is, learn from and teach and, you know. And also, the thing really is, I don't want to become, to, actually, I, I'm against madhav. I, the, I, one thing is, the harm Islam, at least, this madhav. My thinking really is, people le, learn from Sufyan Thawri, but they don't call themselves Thawri. So they learn Thawri, Awzai, Abu Hanifa, respect all of them. Sometimes follow Abu Hanifa, sometimes Thawri, so unity remains. My really thinking is that you people learn from me, but don't follow me. The way is understand, sometimes differ from me, sometimes. So it never becomes around me. It, being, it becomes your thing, you are responsible. It always something like that. You know, something good from me, teach, take something good from somewhere else, take from him. You know, that's more, so I get reward for whatever good, and uh, my mistakes are not followed. So people should not follow me in the mistakes anyway. This never should happen. Like my Shafir used to say that I love the people to take from me and that they forget me. So this is the best thing really. You know, we don't want to make madhab. You know, they know I don't want to leave a legacy in this world. We really want to work for the day hereafter. When we come back, come there, there's something. Not to leave something in this world, rather than make send forward. You know, this attitude should be that you know, this world is not important. The way it is, be pious, worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, teach people properly, and don't worry whether people remember you, don't remember, forget you. Who cares about this? One day the whole world will finish anyway. So who is going to remain? So first, this is a thing. So never make group. Never, never. Anybody who says something sensible, and after this, I, I, I never make the, I learn from people of Dioban, from people of Saharanpur, people from people of Nazareth Ulama, and I love the people because they're pious. I don't love the people because they are Nadavi, like Mawla Gangohi. Do Mawla Gangohi gave fatwa against Dioban, Nadawa. So he's the first person who gave fatwa against Nadawa, but I love him. Actually, in India, among all the ulama who I love, Mawla Gangohi is the first one. Though he is the one who is the first one who gave fatwa against Nadawa. I'm, I'm not sectarian. You know, I don't hate people because they hate Nadawa. The no. If somebody really criticizes Mawla Abu Hassan Nadawi, I have no, nothing in my heart to defend him. Fine, because you know, he's a human being. People can criticize me, people can criticize Abu Hanifa and Malik and Shafi, so what me? Nothing. So don't worry about these matters, you know, don't defend in any way. If people do this thing, it's a waste of time and also creating hatred and enmity of the society, tension. Actually, even the people who, who, who criticize me, I make dua for them. I make dua, Allah Allah forgive them, and if they're right, you know, forgive me. If they're wrong, forgive them. We are Muslim. I don't want in the day of judgment to make Muslims my rival. You know, we want to be friendly. So maybe, by like prophets used to say, oh Allah, they are my people. Inhum la yalamun. Forgive them because they don't know. So, you know, we, we should not create enmity and hatred on this world. You know, the simple thing is you learn from me, 
these people, if some people don't like it, ignore them. Move on. That's not in their life. Do your thing. Is it clear to everybody? Okay. This will help you all the time and save your time. This is actually hard, but helps me. I really don't even want what people say towards me. I think I should you know, concentrate on my work. And Alhamdulillah, that's what I do. This is more work. And also I get reward. This is what always comes to my mind is that Allah SWT. I always say that, you know, Sahaba are so beloved to Allah SWT that He created Shia people only for one purpose, that they keep sending their reward until they came out. Sahaba died, but they keep getting reward of all these unlucky people. They criticize, and I think this is the reason why Abu Hanifa and the Madhab spread all over the world. The reason is because people wronged him, people were unfair to him. The pious person, he did a mistake like anybody else, but people became more unfair to him, wronging him. And when you wrong someone, Allah supports that. Otherwise, it's not Abu Hanifa's fiqh is much different from Sufyan Thawri and other people. The reason is because Abu Hanifa has been wronged in Islam more than anybody else. You know, if you look at the people who criticize him, it's so unfair, really. Some, some of those things are found anywhere else, but people don't criticize them as they criticize Abu Hanifa. So this unfair criticism made Abu Hanifa much nearer to Allah SWT. It helped them. Because when people are mazloom, Allah SWT helps them, raise them more and more. So this is one of the things sometimes Baraka comes in the people. Like Bukhari, you know, Bukhari had no support at all. People forced him to lo- leave his own town, Bukhara, died alone, nobody. Now Baraka is, all the people who have been a- a- against him, now they are the people who support his book more than anybody else. All the humble people, to them Bukhari is the most important. They are the ones who opposed him in the beginning. But now actually, to all the humble people, they love him. They love his book. So you can see really that how Allah SWT does this thing. So don't worry about it. And also, intention should not be the same. Intention should be to obey Allah as a messenger. And second thing is unity of the believers. Muslims, believers should be one people. They should not have hatred against anybody. 